if you are running a blog and you want to make money doing that then this video is for you because in it i'm going to show you how you can join ezoic i will walk you through step by step on the application process to the approval stage so if you want to monetize your website with ezoic as keep watching hello guys this is Swadik here at digo pages web where i do web tutorials just like this one so if you are new here consider subscribing that said let's jump into the video having landed on ezoic.com the next thing i do is click on get started right here or i can click on start now either way they will all take me to the same place so i go ahead and click on get started and from here i have two options to choose from the first option is for websites that are under 10,000 page views per month and the second option is for websites with over 10,000 page views per month. Before I click on join access now, first of all, let's take a look at the Ezoic access now features. So I'll go ahead and click on it, which will open in a new tab. As you can see here, there's no page view limitations. They have a rapid setup. That is if you want Ezoic to automatically place ads on your website. So all what you need to do is connect your website with Ezoic. And finally, you start earning revenue. Going down, before you join Ezoic, you should make sure that your website is in line with Google approval checklist. So let's go there and find out what we are up against. Going down, first thing to take care of is make sure that you have a menu on your website. That is create a menu on your website to incorporate at least five to six articles to increase value. The menu should have more sections than just home, about us, and contact. So if I go back to my website, as you can see, I have more than home, about us, and contact us. I also have blog page, relationship advice, and then dating advice. Going back, next, you need to increase your number of articles. And the suggested number of articles should be between 12 and 15. You should also make sure that you keep original content on your website. Next, you need to stick to a niche or a general theme for your website. Other websites will try to diversify their blog posts, but if you narrow down your niche, your chances of being approved fast will be high. And finally, you need to finalize your categories. And they are saying that when categorizing your articles, try to avoid over-categorization. On my website, I am using only two categories, that is relationship advice, and dating advice they also indicate that categories with two or three articles in it will be deemed low value or teen so it's best to create categories where you have at least five articles each so these are the five checklists you need to make sure your website is in line with now i can exit out of here and here as well since my website is under 10,000 page views per month I'm going to go ahead and use this particular one. My website is just about one month old. Now, if I go over to the who is information about my website, you will see my domain name, which is romancereflections.com, and it was registered on 1st June 2023. That is just last month. So, as you can see, my website is just one month, three days old. If I go back to the blog post of my website, the very first post I submitted on the website was on the same day the website was created, that is 1st June 2023. So I bought the domain somewhere around 8 a.m. By 4.30, I was able to publish my very first blog post. And now I have about 44 blog posts on the website. So going back to Ezoic, I click on Join Access Now, which will open in a new tab. From here, I enter my email address. Then I go ahead and confirm my email address. I click on continue. Next, I enter my domain name. So I have romancereflections.com and I agree to the terms. Click on continue. From here, I need to select what I am interested in. I'm just going to go ahead and select Add Revenue. Then I click on Continue. And now Ezoic is doing its thing at the background. Congratulations, your Ezoic account is ready. 
and you are about to empower your site with the world's most advanced technology for ad revenue. I click on Get Started. Now it will take me to the Ezoic dashboard. From here, you have the option to choose if you want to automate your ad placements or if you want to do everything manually, that is doing the setup by yourself. For starters, I'll use the automation feature. So I'll go ahead and click on Get Started. It should be noted that you can change this anytime you want. From here, we need to complete all these actions. The first one we have is complete account setup. So I click on get started. In here, I need to enter my full name. I'll go ahead and choose a password. Then I click on save. All right, the first one is completed. Next, I go ahead and connect my site. So I click on get started. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up. It does help me out so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. All right, let's continue. From here, we need to update our name service. When you register your website with a hosting provider, you are usually being given this name service. That will actually make your website go live on the internet. Right here are my current name service, and this is the name service Ezoic is giving me. So I need to change from this to this. If you are not sure how you can do this, you can follow this link. I'll open it in a new tab. Here you'll find a list of popular domain registrars and how you can change the name service at each one of them. If you cannot find your domain registrar here, you just have to go ahead and contact them. They should be able to help you out. I am using Dynadot, so I'll just go ahead and log into my Dynadot account and show you how you can change the name service from there. I exit out of here. Having logged into my Dynadot account, I go over to my domains, then I click on Manage Domains. As you can see, I have a bunch of domains I've registered with Dynadot. I'll just select the particular one I'm looking for, that is romancereflections.com. After selecting it, I go on top to action, then I click on DNS settings. In here, you need to make sure that name service is selected. Next, I select new or existing name service like this. Take note, this is my current name service and I'm going to go ahead and enter new name service. So I go back to the Israel setup, then name server one, I copy the first one right here. It is copied. I go back to Dynadot and I paste it in here. Going back, I copy the second name server. Then I go back to Dynadot and I paste it in here. Then I go ahead and click on Save Name Server. As you can see here, my name server has been changed successfully. And usually this can take up to 48 hours. So going back to Ezoic, I scroll down to the bottom, then I click on complete. All right, the second part is completed. Finally, I apply for ad manager, so I click on get started. Here, you need to connect to Google, and there's only one requirement for this. That is having an AdSense account. So if you don't have an AdSense account yet, you need to go ahead and create one for yourself. And the only requirement for you to have an AdSense account is having a Gmail account. So all you need to do to create an AdSense account is go to adsense.google.com. Then you go ahead and click on get started. And you'll be prompted to sign into your Gmail account. And the rest you should be able to go through them. It's very simple to do. So I exit out of here. And going back to Ezoic setup. I go ahead and answer this question. Do you have an active AdSense account? I choose yes. Do you already have an ad manager account? I don't have, so I choose no. And in here, I need to enter my AdSense email address. Then I go ahead and confirm it. Then I click on send invite. And now I've been invited to set up an ad manager account. So I need to go to my email account in order to get the invite link. I have the message on top here. I click on it. You can read the message for yourself. I'll just go ahead and view request. I need to verify my account, so I click on next. 
I enter in my password. Then I click on next. From here, I click on continue since I'm connecting with an existing Google AdSense account. From here, I accept the agreement and here as well. Then I go ahead and click on setup account. From here, I fill in my network setting details. My name is OK. Next, I select time zone. I'll just go ahead and choose the first one and the currency. I leave it as US dollar and I'll go ahead and click on save. And now my account is being reviewed. It can take less than 24 hours. And once it is approved, it will be automatically linked to my Ezoic account. So you patiently have to wait for the decision from Google. And I'll get back to you with an update about my application. All right, it's been eight days since I started the sign-up process to join in Ezoic. And as you can see, everything here is completed except Ad Manager MCM. MCM is Multiple Customer Management. So now I need to apply to the Ad Manager MCM. Now, if I go to my email, remember I showed you how you can join the Google Ad Manager. So the day I created the tutorial, that was on the 4th of July, it was approved on that same day. As you can see, congratulations, your ad manager account has been approved. Now, if I go to my inbox, I have these two messages with regards to my Ezoic application and I received it on the 9th of July, even though I am recording this video on the 11th of July. I'm going to go ahead and open the message from Ezoic. And the message says, congratulations, romancereflections.com has been approved to use Ezoic monetization features. So we don't need to do anything here. Going back, let's check this message. I open it up and you see that the title is, you've been invited to be managed under the AdSense Certified Partner Program. And the message says, dear publisher, Ezoic would like to invite you to be a managed publisher under the AdSense Certified partner program to find out more about Ezoic, please visit this link now what i'm looking for is here to accept the invitation click the button below you will need to have an adsense account if you don't have an adsense account visit this link and submit an application first before accepting the invitation it should be noted that this invitation will expire in two days i already have an adsense account so i'm just going to go ahead and accept the invitation which will open in a new tab. From here, I agree to give Ezoic to access my AdSense account. Then I go ahead and click on accept invitation. You have accepted the invitation from Ezoic UK Limited and we are done. Now we will wait to see how long it will take for AdSense to accept our website. If I go back to Ezoic dashboard, you see that under Ad Manager MCM, Ad Manager Domain Status is in progress. This is where Google will review by domain. And you see that here it says that your domain was submitted for review on July 10, 2023. So I will come back with an update whether my website has been approved or not. Alright, it's been 15 days since my website was submitted to Google MCH for review by Ezoic. Just yesterday, July 24, I received this message. With regards to the status of the review, the message says we are writing to let you know that Google's review resulted in a disapproval for romancereflections.com. That is my domain name. This means my website wasn't approved for Google MCM. Now let's take a look at the second paragraph. We've reviewed your site again. This is coming from Ezoic. Take note. And we believe that the site should be approved for Google MCM. This means we have requested a manual review from Google and we are confident they will approve your site in the next 24 to 48 hours. Please do not remove integration or make any changes during this time as this may impact the manual review with Google. So I received this message about 19 hours ago and that was yesterday. Today is 25th as you can see on the date here. Just about a few minutes ago, I went to my Ezoic dashboard and I noticed this analytics, which indicates that my website is finally approved to run as with Ezoic. 
Now, if I go to my website with a different browser, at the moment I'm using Mozilla Firefox. Let me go ahead and open it with Google Chrome. So this is my website in Google Chrome. As you can see on top here, this is an ad. And this is also another one from Ezoic. As you can see, going down, you see a whole lot of ads on my website. Even though the placement here is messy, I may change it later. Going down, we have another one here. Somewhere in the middle of the page, there's another one here. And it goes on and on. Even on the bottom of the page is an ad. If I go to a different blog post, maybe this. As you can see, there are ads all over on the page. Scrolling down, there are ads here still going down. We have more ad placements and it goes on and on. So now my website is finally approved to run ads with Ezoic. The whole process with regards to the application for Ezoic ads took about 21 days because I started with the application on the 4th of July and today is 25th July 2023. So it's very possible to start a blog and also get it monetized within a month. My very first post on the website was on 1st June 2023 and that was the very same day I registered my domain to run this particular website. I posted blog posts on it for about a month and I applied to join the Ezoic platform on the 4th of July 2023. And now my website is finally approved to run the Ezoic ads. So that's it on how you can sign up on Ezoic with your blog website. Now if you want me to make a video on how to start a blog with WordPress and ChatGPT, just comment down below make the video and i'll do exactly that for you i hope this video has helped you all right guys i hope you found value in today's video if you did kindly hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and also hit the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel you will be the first to know keep watching and i will see you in the next one